Hi everyone and welcome back, I'm Giuseppe Mamano. Today we are going to do a still life painting. I find here in studio uh, this beautiful Venetian mask, original. It's beautiful, I love it. And uh, this Pinocchio, we say from Italy. So we are going to put both of them on my shadow box with my light, take a picture for reference and in this tutorial, I will explain step by step and the mixing that I use to do this beautiful still life painting. All this after the intro. Today we are painting in a 8x10 canvas and as you see I torn my canvas with acrylic paint burnt sienna. I'll do that because you can see better the color than paint on a white canvas. We're going to do this in two stages. The first stage of the painting is going to be just filling all the canvas and we're not going to pay attention to try to get the real exact color. Like example here I'm putting some red, I'm trying to get my color not too bright and not too dark. Try to be in the middle. So I can have space on the second stage if with my color I want to go darker or lighter. Now we will talk more about mixing color in the second stage. Pretty much we will mix the same color that I'm mixing now. I don't want to repeat myself because in the second stage I'm gonna try to really get the real color. Now, looking at the subject, I'm gonna work a lot on the second stage, on the details, on the shadow and the lights. That's gonna really, I think, gonna make this painting stand out. Now, that I, I wanna really to put all the color on Pinocchio, because I don't wanna lose my little sketch. And now, I'm putting like just straight black in the corner. They're gonna try to make the light in the middle because on this composition, what I like most is the shadow of Pinocchio in the, on the background. They have an idea. I think I, I'm gonna make his nose very, very long. I remember when I was young, I saw this cartoon of Pinocchio. They was talking to Geppetto and from the shadow you could see the nose getting longer and longer. And that's what we're going to try to do on uh, this painting. As uh, you can see, I try to keep all my tone settled. You see the difference between uh, the darkest and the light in the middle? The kind of purplish color is not too bright, it's not too dark. It's like there, very subtle. Now what I'm doing Try to fill in all the canvas. I'm gonna work in the mask. The mask have a lot of details on it. I can wait to put detail on the second stage. Now, right now, I just try to fill all the line and curve that are on this Venetian mask that I have. I love this mask. Now, the first and the second stage of the painting. It's like when you make pasta with sauce. If you wanna make a good pasta with sauce, you gotta make the sauce very good. And that's for the painting. If we make a good, nice first stage, you're gonna make our life easy on the second stage of the painting. I did some little detail on Pinocchio, and if I'm gonna again, do some color on top, I'm at least have an idea and see if this is gonna work or not. And I'm very happy with it. So, I think we are done and we can start with the second stage. So now, this is step two. I let the painting dry for a day. That's why I use liquid mixing with the speed the drying. And we are ready to do the second step. We're gonna put more paint on the canvas, try to get the color spot on. I'm gonna show you some of my mixing and finish this beautiful painting. Those are the colors you're gonna use. And I have cadmium yellow, cadmium red, titanium white, 
ultramarine blue, burnt amber, ochre, cobaltio, transparent yellow oxide, and magenta. Now I'm getting straight black. I add a little bit of liquid on it. And what I'm doing now, I'm just gonna put the black all in all the most darkest spots. And now we're gonna mix it. A dark purple because we start getting in the light. So from black, it's gonna be dark purple and a lighter purple. And my mix is ultramarine blue, mix with some liquid. I'm gonna add some burnt amber and some magenta. Now the color that you can see is not too light. It's very subtle, it's just a little bit more lighter. And we're gonna go lighter and lighter until we go in the middle spot where it's more light, it's gonna be a nice purple. Now add a little bit more white and put it underneath the mask and Pinocchio. After we're gonna put some reflection. And now I'm doing the shadow Pinocchio. As you can see, I'm making the nose long. I think that's gonna be pretty cool on this painting. Now we start mixing the red of Pinocchio's clothes and I get some cadmium red. I will mix it with some magenta, just a little magenta, just to make it darker. And put it on. On the second stage, you're really gonna pay attention at the color, at the shadow, and continuously look at my subject, look at my painting, have a picture that I took, that I'm following, and try to get all the colors spot on. You can see I'm making the button. They were just a mix of yellow and yellow ochre. Now the little reflection, that's not pure white. I just had something to have in the palette because I didn't want to use pure white. Now the mixing from the body part of Pinocchio. I use a cadmium red, yellow ochre, burnt amber, and some white. At this point, I'm very happy how it's coming. Put some highlights in the nose, in the skin. I'm using some white for the eye and black. And I'm almost done with this painting. Now you can see that it's very, very three-dimensional. Looks very good at this point. I'm very happy. Now, something happened to the battery on my camera, so I didn't record when I did the mask. I think I have just a little record that was finished with a couple of details. So I'm sorry about that, but you can see at this point that I'm very kind of done. The reflection, I just put the same color that I used for Pinocchio and pulled down to make the reflection. And I did the same thing on the mask. Here, last couple touch up. And I think this painting, I love it. It's beautiful. I'm very satisfied. I maybe use this little painting to make a bigger one. I don't know. Hope you guys enjoy and learn something from this. Pinocchio and the mask. All right, guys, I think we are done for today. Thank you for watching. I have a lot of fun. I hope you guys did too. If you have any question, please leave a comment. If you like more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe. I will see you very soon. Ciao.